Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Okay, I decided to go out and play, or at least just go outside, because apparently it's supposed to start thunderstorming soon, and I was making phone calls and doing emails all morning, and I'm like, okay, enough, I have to get the hell out of here and go outside and play, you know how that goes. And while I was sitting there, I was thinking to myself how perhaps the best way to put it is I've kind of lost my backbone. The whole approaching people and reaching out to people to do photo shoots is, it's become a lot more difficult for me. I, I know I'm way out of practice. I mean, I haven't done this in a long time and I, I'm having some anxiety about it which is kind of odd because that usually doesn't affect me. I could be dropped into a room of 10 people and be pretty much friends with nine of them before I leave. I've always had that ability. I can go anywhere, talk to anybody, and, and just not really have that much of a problem. Outward problem. What a lot of people don't realize is that though I seem incredibly extroverted, I'm actually fairly introverted and I do experience social anxiety in a way that I'm good at hiding it but what I used to do like this is back in Chicago I was always the guy with the camera everywhere I went I had that camera that camera was like a shield and when I look back on it I used it because a lot of people just don't talk to the photographer. You know, they, they, they will see you and they will think, oh, okay, he must, they must have, have hired a photographer or something. You know, when I went to like a, a social public event and it was a good way for me to not have to interact with people. The only people that ever really approached me were ones that were interested in the gear and it was easy to talk about that. But it was unbelievably painful to, to be social and talk to people in a social capacity. And I know one time, I remember, my wife said, why don't you leave the camera home this time? And I was like, huh? You know, that was like asking me to leave my, my you know, my right arm on the table before I walked out. And I'm just like, I, dude, I'm, I'm like the guy with the camera. And she's like, why don't you be social for once and enjoy yourself and, and don't feel like you have to go there and be the person that takes the pictures and posts the pictures for everybody because that's pretty much, you know, what they're used to. And I, you should just go and be social. So I did leave the camera at home and it was awful. It was so painful. I was, I was sitting there. I literally felt like I was in one of those dreams, you know, the whole nightmare thing where you're all of a sudden you're in a room and you're in your underwear, or you're naked and everyone's looking at you all funny and stuff. And it was incredibly painful. Uh, so I didn't do that again. So I do know that I use my cameras as a, a form of shield. And usually people will look at me and some will approach me just because of the gear. And I have no problem talking about gear and all that kind of stuff. I mean, my job as a consultant is to speak to people. And I'm constantly thrown into situations where I have to just walk in basically blind. I don't know the person and I have to, I have to go in, I have to speak, I have to build a rapport, I have to, you know, form a relationship, no problem. But when it comes to an actual social interaction, it's very difficult. It's very difficult for me to, to do that. And apparently, it's gotten a hell of a lot more difficult since I used to do it. I never had a problem approaching people about doing a photo shoot. I had no problem reaching out to them, hunting, hunting them down, so to speak, on, on you know various sites, which is what it was back then. There was no Twitter, there was no Instagram and all that kind of shit. And, you know, I, I did what I did, and I, I had a fun time doing it. And again, although a lot of the photo shoots that I did back then were people that I knew. Or, or it came through word of mouth through people that I knew. So it wasn't as difficult to do back then because I had a, a social circle that I was known in. Not true here. Although I've lived here for going on seven years, 
I, you know, I know people at the businesses that I frequent, and that's different. I don't hang out with anybody here and all that kind of stuff. I, I tried to find some social circles that were in, in you know, like the video uh, photography world, and it just didn't work out well. So I don't have that circle that I can rely on. That being said, I thought that, all right, now that I've made the decision to get back into photography and start doing actual photo shoots, it, it's been cripplingly painful for me to actually approach somebody. And again, I have told you before that the problem that I have is cornering people at, at their work, their workplace, while they're doing their job. It, I feel like it's just not cool to walk up to somebody that's standing behind a counter that is forced to stand behind that counter and can't walk away from that counter and they have to interact with me. I just, I just feel that that's, that's not cool and I don't want to do that. But in this world of social media, you know, like if you don't actually know who that person is, then, you know, you don't want to approach them at work, but you have to do, you know, I don't want to just walk up and say, Hey, what's your Instagram? So I can hunt you down and, and, you know, try to get you to do a photo shoot with me. I, that, like everything that I've done in my head, every scenario that I've run through it, it, it has become painful. It, it, I have psyched myself out and I have told myself that it's inappropriate or it's improper for me to, to go about it the way that I'm going about it to the point where I've been standing right face to face with a couple of the people that I want to do photo shoots with and I am completely stymied to make the words come out. Kind of frustrating. Now, I also watch all these creators that, that kind of do this stuff, like the boys. You know, these guys that are in, in uh, Australia, they they basically go through Instagram. That's like their big network. They go through Instagram. I don't know exactly how they go through Instagram. I'm sure they use hashtags or they just try to, I, I don't know, maybe there's a way to find local people. I don't know. And they go through and they find these girls and they reach out to them through Instagram to do photo shoots. And then they, you know, they, obviously they must get them to agree to, to be featured on their, on their vlogs on YouTube. And, and that's the way they do it. I, since I don't use my, damn it, I think I just hit a butterfly. Anyways, I, uh, I like it because I don't use my Instagram that way. You know, like, I, I can't say, well, check out my Instagram, you know, when there's 200 pictures of my cat or pictures of my wife or pictures of my food. I don't have it, again, curated to be a photographer's website. So, you know, I kind of feel like I can't do that. So while I was sitting there in the parking lot having my drink, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I Here I, I'm, I'm going against what I said before about not having my Instagram be a professional photography, you know, business card, so to speak, or not having multiple social media accounts, I think I have to create a second Instagram account so that I can actually start featuring my photography so that I can start using it like everybody else does to get photo gigs. You know, which then also makes me feel like a douche because I hear I've been harping on about that. You know, I use my Instagram as a personal snippet thing and I don't have it set up and I don't use Instagram that way. And here I am now saying, I think I need to use Instagram that way. And I have to create a second account, you know, because I need multiple mo social media accounts. Uh, what a world, right? So I don't know. What is it that you guys do? You know, say you are not a professional photographer because I'm not doing this really in a professional capacity I, yet maybe at all what do you do how do you how do you get people to to do photo shoots with you know basically are you just are you just getting piles of cash and and paying people to do this are you going to modeling sites you know or are you just using Instagram? Are you literally just hunting people down on Instagram using hashtags or location or whatever and then just, you know, throwing out a hundred invites or inquiries to girls and, and getting one or two to actually do a photo shoot? 
I'm curious. I'm, I guess I'm out of the loop and I need to, I need to actually figure out how to do this and I need to do it soon because yeah, because I need the practice. Damn it. I, I want to start shooting human beings. So let me know, let me know what you do. I would be very curious to hear what people are doing to get photo shoots in the 21st century, 2021. And that's really all I've got. It was just a, you know, I've just been sitting here pondering this and, and thinking that how the hell am I going to do this? In the comments down below, please give me some suggestions or let me know what you do and uh, what works for you and what hasn't worked for you. I really want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. And that's all I've got for you today. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.